The best 10 days of the year for Muslims are coming up very soon and I'm here to tell you all about them and how we can make the most of them. Inshallah, let's go. The 12th and final month of the Islamic calendar, Dhul Hijjah, is going to begin very soon. This is an incredibly blessed month and these days are so sacred that Allah has mentioned them specifically in the Quran. This is also the month in which Muslims all around the world gather to go for the Islamic pilgrimage, Hajj. Adding on to that, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, there are no days on which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than these 10 days. Whether you're one of the lucky few that's going for Hajj this year or you're staying at home like me, this is a blessed time for us all. It's a second chance for us all after the month of Ramadan to try and reconnect with Allah and try and do as many good deeds as we can. So let's talk about how to make the most of these 10 days. Firstly, if you're one of the blessed few that's gonna to get to go to Hajj, the Islamic pilgrimage this year, then you have your own separate routine to follow and I made a video which you can find up here that explains everything about Hajj. So may Allah wish you a blessed journey. You can also find the link in the description below. For the rest of us, just like how we make plans for all the other areas of our life, this is also an area that we need to plan for to try and make the most of. What are we going to do in these 10 days that's gonna maximize our rewards? Well, I have three major things that you can do to try and focus on to achieve as much as you can. And the first thing that we all need to focus on is prayer. Now, we all know that we're supposed to pray, but we're all imperfect beings. We don't all pray five times a day, every day, unfortunately. And only you know yourself how many of the five daily prayers that you're completing every day. I know it's tough to keep consistent because I find it tough myself sometimes, but this is the perfect opportunity for us all to improve. Look at what level you're at currently. If you don't pray, start by doing once or twice a day. If you already do that, try three or four times a day. And then if you do that, try five times a day. If you're doing five times a day already, mashallah, then perhaps try adding in some extra nafil prayers. Maybe try praying in congregation more often. Maybe going to the masjid, the local mosque, if you're lucky enough to have one. And if you're finding that the quality of your salah is something that's lacking, if you're, if you're having trouble focusing or concentrating, maybe check out this other video that I've made explaining how we can increase our focus. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Repeat sujood, prostrating in prayer frequently, for whenever you perform even one sajda for Allah, Allah will raise you to a higher degree and erase a sin from your record. Secondly, I want you to try your absolute best to fast for the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah. It's narrated by Abu Dawood that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to fast on the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah. If you are unable to fast for all nine days for whatever reason, whether it's work or travel or, or whatever other reason, you need to at least try and fast on the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah. That's the day of Arafah. I'll talk a little bit more about the day of Arafah later on in this video, but suffice it to say that if you're only gonna fast on one day, make it the day of Arafah, the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. Check what that is on your local calendar. And maybe I'll put it over here. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that fasting on the day of Arafah expiates the sins of two years both the past one and the coming one. The third thing you need to focus on in these 10 days is remembrance of Allah. And what I mean by that is doing dhikr. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, there are no days greater before Allah or in which good deeds are more beloved to him than these 10 days. So increase them in your declaration of the oneness of Allah, your exaltation of him, and your praise of him. And what that translates to for us is that we need to try and remember Allah as much as we can in our spare time by using the phrases La ilaha illallah, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. Saying these phrases is called doing dhikr and dhikr is incredibly important. I want you to try and do dhikr as much as you can in your spare moments. For example, when you're standing in line, when you're waiting around in the supermarket, doing chores, ironing, cleaning, maybe you're waiting for something to start or working at your desk. To help you remember, maybe have a reminder to do dhikr on your phone, maybe as a sticky note on your desk or your laptop. Another way to do it is to specifically try and make dhikr at the end of every farad salah, at the end of every daily prayer. The mansions in Jannah are built on dhikr. If you stop doing dhikr, the angels stop building the mansion. This simple measure ensures that you're remembering Allah throughout the day and that you're benefiting from the blessings of Dhul Hijjah. Okay, so now I've spoken about the three main things that I want you to focus on as we enter the 10 blessed first days of Dhul Hijjah. But there's also a few other things that you can focus on to try and maximize, to take your rewards to the next level. Firstly, read more Quran. Increase your recitation by adding a few more minutes to your daily routine. If you don't have one, now is the time to develop one. 
Install the Quran on your phone so that you can access it anywhere. You can even try setting a recitation goal for the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Secondly, give more in charity. Now is the time to increase what you're giving to the poor and needy, especially in the run up to Eid al Adha. Consider automating a daily fixed donation every day using one of the popular Muslim charity sites to help out your fellow brothers and sisters around the world. And if you can't afford it, remember even a smile is considered charity, so be happy. And thirdly, reduce distractions. Try to reduce the amount of time that you're spending on things that you don't necessarily need to be doing. Things like watching TV, playing video games, movies, music. Just for these 10 days, try and consider the amount of rewards that you're sacrificing, that you're choosing to sacrifice for the temporary pleasure of some Netflix or Disney Plus. I'll now briefly touch on the day of Arafah. The day of Arafah takes place on the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah and it's the day on which Muslim pilgrims that have gone for Hajj gather on the plains of Arafah to commemorate the day when Islam was perfected and the Quran was completed. The plains of Arafah are where the Prophet peace be upon him delivered his last sermon before he passed away shortly after. Today I have perfected your religion for you, completed my blessing upon you and chosen as your religion, Islam. And remember, like I said before, if you're not going to fast on any other day, make sure you fast on this specific day, the 9th of Dhul Hijjah. Doing so will gain you so many rewards and expiate, i.e. forgive your sins not only for the past year, but also for the upcoming year as well. Incredible. You might be thinking, why are we only fasting for the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah? Why not the 10th as well? Well, that's because the 10th day of Dhul Hijjah marks the day when we celebrate Eid al-Adha, i.e. the festival of sacrifice. You can learn more about this day, how it came to be and how best to celebrate it by clicking this video right here. Otherwise, start thinking about how you're going to make the most of these upcoming first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. What are you going to focus on? How are you going to increase the amount of prayers that you do? Are you going to be able to fast for all nine days or just a few of them? How can you remind yourself to do dhikr during the nine days? Try and form some sort of battle plan to really tackle these areas. And don't forget the extra things as well like Quran, charity and reducing distractions like Netflix. And if you'd like to learn more about Hajj in general, check out this five minute summary that I posted a few days ago. May Allah help us make the most of our time in this blessed month and may he bless us with forgiveness and great reward. Amen. Take care of yourself and assalamu alaikum.